China's new HQ-9B missile could be a turning point in the puzzle decision about how to counter the world's best anti-aircraft missile system, Russia's S-400. Refers to this information based on an analysis made by American and Pakistani experts. The recent acquisition of the HQ-9B from Pakistan is the reason for the assessment. The HQ-9B missile may be a mistake Russia made in its relationship with China, as experts say it was developed using technology from Almazanti, the Russian company that makes the S-300, S-400, and S-500. In the 1990s, Russia allowed China to acquire air defense technology, especially for the production of fourth-generation anti-aircraft missile systems. China's HQ-9B missile was developed using Almazandi technology and has been acquired by Pakistan. The HQ-9B has a range of 240 kilometers, and in the missile structure is an integrated radar for active thermal targeting and a passive infrared search radar. These missiles are designed to penetrate hard-to-reach areas and sites and are protected by air. Richard Fisher, senior fellow at the International Center for Evaluation and Strategy in Alexandria, Virginia, said today the way to counter modern anti-aircraft missile systems, such as the S-400, is to counter modern systems and developments such as counter-weapon, anti-aircraft missiles, radiation, electronic countermeasures, U-cabin drone swarms, and low-flying cruise missiles. Fisher said that the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan nearly two years ago showed the possibility that the anti-aircraft missile system was vulnerable to the means of deterrence it had demonstrated. It turns out that the purchase of the Russian S-400 air defense system from India has provoked Pakistan to open up other possibilities for possible countermeasures. One such possibility is Pakistan's top-secret ZF-1 drone, which was introduced about four years ago, but it is not yet clear whether Islamabad is continuing to develop it. This drone is designed to penetrate objects that are heavily protected by air defense systems. Mansur Ahmed, a senior fellow at the Pakistan-based think tank Center for International Strategic Studies, said the Fatah-1 guided projectile was a weapon that would neutralize the S-400. The projectile is tested in 2021 and has a range of 150 kilometers. 